Well, hello people. Now today's video is all about a marketing plan for a real estate project. That's right. So this plan is made for developers, managers, maybe even brokers who want to sell 100 flats for their project. And the question is how many leads you need to generate to sell these 100 flats. That's right. So that's the first challenge. So we're going to talk about generating 10,000 leads to sell these 100 flats, which means we are going to generate 100 leads to sell one single flat out of which we'll be generating 5000 leads from Google and remaining 5000 from Meta. This is our first challenge. Then we will look into how much amount we generate or we spend on Google to generate monthly leads, how much, how much amount we spend on Facebook as the second marketing platform, how many qualified leads we generate how many site visits we have to make and finally how many bookings or sales will be generating towards the year end now this entire plan is divided into different categories which starts with the product so in your case you have a product which is a flat or a shop or maybe a plot the average cost for this property for this project could be 1 cr now this could definitely go higher than 1 cr but then i'm just taking 1 cr as a as an amount for this particular plan. Now the second question is the promotional platforms. Even though you have multiple promotional platforms, if you're watching this video, if you already have a property, then you must have already registered with platforms like 99 acres, magic bricks, maybe housing.com. And you have a long list of marketing portals available for listing your properties. But then you don't have any control on the leads which comes from these properties. You can also look for WhatsApp or SMS marketing, the very old and traditional way of bulk messaging. All you have to do is to simply purchase the data of any city, then integrate this data with the SMS software and you simply do bulk SMS, which is not the recommended type of marketing, but then it's something which is heavily being used in the real estate market. In fact, people are still doing the cold callings. People are simply having their sales team and then the sales team call to different people who are in their city. People are always looking for HNI's data. HNI means high net in net worth individual data so that they can call and they can sell their property to them. Anyways, so apart from these two, which we are not considering for this plan, we have the plan for digital marketing. The first one is Google ad platform. Google ad means when someone goes to Google and type something like Two BHK flats. Let's say someone types in two BHK flats, two BHK flats, and then probably he's gonna get ads from all different companies, results from different companies, and they will be clicking on this website. They'll be landing on their landing page, and they'll be ending up calling or filling up the inquiry form. This is the first way of marketing. We call it pull marketing. The reason I'm saying pull is because when you type any keyword to be for BHK flats or maybe buy a shop in Delhi, we are pulling the result. And you can see these companies are selling out the projects or the shops or maybe flats in the market. Now, the first one is a very high platform in terms of lead quality. When you get 100 leads from this platform, the chances are 70 to 80 percent leads are positive. 70 to 80 percent leads are qualified. But then we have the next platform, which is meta ads. Meta ad means you can show the ads in the form of pushing your ads, pushing your videos and creatives to Facebook and Instagram. So people get to see your ad without searching anything. They are not now actively looking for two to three BHK flats. They are just browsing their internets. They are just going through the amazing videos, maybe their feed, and then they finally get your ad somewhere in the queue of the ads. And then you show an ad through push marketing which means you are simply pushing the ads now in facebook the only challenge is the lead quality out of 100 leads you generate you only get 50 percent qualified leads maybe 60 percent qualified leads so quality is always a challenge in the meta ads as a platform now you can always take the leverage of next two but here in this plan we are only going to talk about these two form of marketings now, the duration for this plan has to be 12 months. That's right. So if we are looking forward to sale 100 flats, we need to at least do marketing for 12 months. I know people must be thinking to sale their product maybe in a week, maybe in a day, 
I have seen people who are, who come to me and they say they want to sell everything in the span of a month, at most a month. But then it's really difficult sometimes to sell anything which people don't know. But if your project is popular, it's it's very popular. You don't even need to do marketing, or you can sell this entire range of flats in a month. But then, for the sake of getting the right numbers, for the sake of doing a standard marketing, I have taken the duration for twelve months. The location could be any tier A city of India, which could be Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, or even Chennai. Now, the lead requirement. As I said, we need to generate around ten thousand leads. So I'm saying, uh, to generate hundred leads to sell one single flat. That's right. So five thousand leads from Google, from pull mechanism, from people who are showing the intent, who are going on Google and typing anything like this, and then remaining five thousand from Facebook and Instagram. The average cost lead lead means how much amount we are paying to generate one single lead. So we need some media planning. This is the media plan planning plan. So here we have generated a lead from Google at the cost of around eight hundred rupees. This is the amount that we are paying to Google to generate one single lead. On the other hand, we also have Facebook, to which we pay around three hundred rupees to generate one single lead. So Facebook lead is even uh, at the cost of half than what we are paying to Google. Google is always expensive this than Facebook, but Google is always having a very high intent you can convert your customer within a week who is coming from google because he was just typing in google he was pulling he was looking for that product so when you also go on google and you type something then it simply means you are also in the need of that product you are also in the search of that property that's why it's always recommended to go with google as the primary marketing platform all the companies night like 90 minutes acres magic breaks or housing.com they always show google ads they always show ads to people so that people can land on their platforms and they can connect with the uh, different developers now so i was talking about generating 10000 leads at the cost of 600 per lead so here we are talking about generating 10000 into 600 which means spending somewhere around 6 million in advertisement that's right so this is the amount that we have to pay companies like google and meta to generate 10000 leads the calculation is quite simple 10000 into 600 which means 60 lakh rupees which means 6 million rupees apart from paying that with ease and amount you also have to pay to a marketing agency these numbers looks very difficult to understand from the air perspective that's why i have the number for the monthly basis so here we are talking about generating 833 leads in a month This is simply by ten uh, thousand divided by. Mm, that's right, twelve. So we are talking about generating eight hundred thirty-three leads. The monthly advertisement cost has to be the overall advertisement cost divided by twelve. So we are talking about a spending five lakh rupees. Now I know it's gonna make a bit sense for you now. When the numbers are less, it always makes a sense. Anyways, then the marketing agency fee has to be somewhere around fifty thousand, not a very high amount in terms of daily leads. We are talking about generating monthly leads divided by thirty, twenty-eight leads. And how much energy we need to generate all of these leads, or to convert all of these, in fact. So on the right hand side, I have listed all the requirements. First of all. the person who manages the your marketing or the agency who manages your marketing need to have the project creatives someone who goes to the property a photographer who shoots the entire pro product images and then he share the images with the marketing team who define these images then you need the project videos we need a project website maybe a landing page then most importantly a team who will be generating all these leads we call it marketing team or we call it lead generation team now these lead generation teams or marketing teams will be passing on the leads to the calling team maybe a call center team who is going to call all of these people who have shown the interest in the project and then these call center teams have to convince people to visit the site and when site visits are happening we need to have a site visit team these are the sales team team who is going to convert your project into a booking so this is a real estate funnel on here 
so when you get a lead the lead has to be converted into qualified lead from the qualified lead the lead has to be converted into a site visit and from a site visit the lead has to be converted into a booking so in order to generate 100 bookings which is the number over here we have to generate 10,000 leads this is the entire real estate marketing funnel but then let's get into a google first now this is the media plan on the monthly basis someone who has done advertisement uh, would know that before running the advertisement we have to make a project plan we have to make a google or meta lead generation plan so in lead generation plan this one we are talking about running four different campaigns it's always good to run different campaigns because if one campaign does not work you will always have other campaign to follow upon so here we are talking about running search campaign on which we spent the maximum amount in google we spent two lakh rupees and we generate 250 leads we are paying 800 rupees for one single lead then we talk about display lead i'm sorry display campaign performance max campaign and remarketing campaign through all of these four campaigns combined we are talking about generating 328 leads in a month this one is a monthly plan i can simply multiply it by 12 to make it a yearly plan in facebook we are talking about generating leads from four different campaigns starting with lead generation campaign a campaign that generates the leads within facebook then we have the message campaign we have a traffic campaign and finally we have the remarketing campaign and after running all of these four campaigns we can expect somewhere around 703 leads in an entire month that's right at the cost per lead of 335 rupees so we generate around 700 leads from meta at this after spending 2.55 rupees in a month we spend we get around 300 leads from google after spending 2.5 rupees a month so we are talking about generating around 800 to 1000 leads in a month from google and facebook both now here we have the final real estate marketing funnel so if you are able to generate 10000 leads in a month we are talking about generating 10000 leads in the span of 12 months right so even if you are generating 900 leads a month or 800 leads a month we can easily expect around 10000 leads in the entire year but the question is how do you convert these leads into bookings how do you convert these leads into revenue now when you get any leads in real estate the lead has to be converted into a qualified leads qualified lead means how many people who have submitted the lead who have submitted the inquiry form who have called you who have messaged messaged your sales team are getting qualified so in india people are really impulsive they fill up a form in the night and when next year sales team is going to call them they say okay they are not interested maybe they have filled up the form now they are not looking for any property so that's why the second stage for any lead generation plan is going to be qualified lead so out of 10000 we have already removed 40 percent leads which are not qualified so we are considering out of 100 people who fill up the inquiry form 40 people are not going to take any interest to go further with the sales team and here we are left with 60 percent qualified leads only 60 percent so we're talking about connecting with these 6000 people out of 6000 we are saying we only get 10 percent site visits so we are saying out of 100 people whom your sales team connect only 10 percent only 10 people are gonna visit the site out of 10 people whom your sales team is gonna call on daily basis only one person is gonna show up to the site visit so we are talking about generating 600 site visits these 600 people are really interested in the pricing they have already checked your uh, plan your floor plan your uh, flat plan they have already checked out the pricing they already know the brand and then they have decided to visit the property now if you have 600 people which is only the 10 percent of these qualified leads to visit the site we assume you should shall be getting 10 to 20 percent conversion or booking rate so out of 100 people who visit your site we are expecting to convert around 20 people out of 10 people who visit the site we are expecting to convert around one to two people that's what we have the final booking number so here we are talking about generating 102 sales for your project 
So we started with 10,000 leads. Then we got 6,000 qualified leads out of which we got 600 site visits. And then finally, we are talking about selling 102 flats. In terms of revenue, if you have a unit price of 1 CR, you can easily expect a profit of around, I'm sorry, revenue of around 100 CR. This is not the profit. And here we have the entire real estate funnel, which starts with 10,000 leads, 6,000 qualified leads, 600 site visits, and finally, 102 bookings. Now, people who are looking forward to generate these 10,000 leads, they simply have to run their ad campaigns on Google, maybe on Meta, maybe on WhatsApp, or maybe they can at least list their property on platforms like 99 Acres and Magic Bricks. It's always recommended to have as many platforms, as many sources of leads that you can have. You will need to have the marketing team who can generate leads for you. Then you would need to have the calling team who can call on these leads. And finally, you need to have the sales team or the site visit team who will be converting your site visits, the clients into a booking. So I hope this video is going to help you to understand how you can market your project from this place, how you can really market your project from here. If you need this plan, I will be linking this somewhere below the video. So you can simply have a look into this plan and maybe I'll see you in some other video. You have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.